Hey everyone, my name is Punch. Ow, oh, it's Pooper. And welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. Miss this so much. I'm glad I'm back to it. How are you guys? I guess, should I ask that? Uh, it's been another weekend um, where I was away and I couldn't record and I was very sad. But I just watched a K pop video where they were dancing with Healy shoes and it made me feel happy again. So. Here we are. Uh, we just met the photographer. It was he was scary. Well, he was very muscular. He wasn't scary, but what he said was scary. We're starting to get into. <laughs> Damn it, Tony! <laughs> he says hi, YouTube. I don't know if, if that comes up. One second. All right. Um, yeah, we just met the photographer. He said he dropped the bomb about the dismember dismemberment dismemberment whatever. And, um, let's go on this. I've been talking too long. I gotta start doing this. Alright. <laughs> right. And so, last time we were at the dump where Rena had found a Colonel Sanders, I don't know, like, figure, the one that had outside KFC. Okay. A Colonel Sanders? Ah, oh, of course. That's right up her alley. <laughs> What's that right up her alley? I understand her wanting to take home Satoko and Rika-chan, but I can't understand the Colonel Sanders. Me either. What's the so good about that four-eyed geezer? It's like a too far punchy. Probably better to hear it from Rina, don't you think? She'll probably just say, because it's so cute, Star, though. Does Rina often go to the construction site? to hunt for treasure? Every now and then, she says she's going to have a look. But a girl her age rummaging rummaging around in the garbage as well. Not only just the garbage, but a creepy garbage dump in like the middle of the forest at like what, eight, nine at night? If Rina tries it, I think it's fine. I don't. I don't think that's healthy for her. What were they going over there? Damn construction? It had been bugging me since yesterday. Like an itch I couldn't scratch. <laughs> it was cancelled a long time ago. Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika Chan's mouth startled me. Whoa! Rika! That's right. It was unbelievable. They said Hinamazawa would be sunk into the reservoir and we had no say in the matter. Wow. It's crazy. So I'm the only one so I'm only able to be here because the pro protest succeeded. Oof, what's that door? Um That has to be Rena. She always repeats herself, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? My deep oh, my deepest apologies, punchy song. It took me a while to powder my nose. So Toko, wait to use the can until you have until you really have to go. It's a lot easier since it shoots right out. Ooh! Ooh! Punchy! <laughs> eek! Eek! How dare you speak that way to a maiden of unparalleled beauty as myself? Who is she calling a maiden? Oh, he's trying to kill me. If Satoko really was the maiden, she would have to, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. Happy fun time over at Punchy School again. Now then, gentlemen, in according in accordance with the rules of society, I bring a point to discussion. He, Punchy Mei Barakun, wishes to be included as a member in our activities. What say you? Mina has no objection. <laughs> I wonder if the likes of this peasant is up to the task. Me and Satoko both approve. The three that Mian had queried voiced their approval. You go, Punchy. A, un a unanimous decision. Congratulations, Punchy May Parker. I really have to practice more voices. I can't just have I <laughs> Mia. I guess I can't, because she always refers, her refers herself as an old lady. I present you the honor of being allowed to take the inch exam for our club. What? 
Hold up. Start from the beginning. I didn't say I would join. What club is this? What our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society is perform various activities under different sets of rules. Sometimes they are in your favor. Sometimes they work against you. I don't understand. I'm pretty weak, so I'd prefer if you didn't single me out. Let's try and get along. You're so naive, Reina. The law of the jungle is survival of the fittest. This is starting, starting to sound a bit sketchy. I, I still don't understand what kind of club this is. Exactly, Punchy. So what kind of club was it? To sum it up, it's a club where we play games together. Oh. <laughs> Rika chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. Thank you, Rika chan Always one of my favorites. So basically, this club put me in this hobby of clicking games to use. Ah, ah, that should be fun, like a game night. By playing the various games that me and had hoarded every day. It seemed that depending on the day, there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for the person who finished in last place. Oof. Penalties, eh? No, no, no. These girls are grade school. We can't do that. I'll make it clear right now. We aren't playing house here. You should treat each other each win or loss as if your life depends on it. Oh, right? But what's wrong with just having fun, Mia? Don't make it sound so crazy. Oof. It is crazy. Uh, I forgot to do this. Uh oh, look at that face he's making. Oh, no, 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 no. Got it. Okay. The first rule of our society aim only for the first place. Going it half assed just because this game is not allowed. Ooh. Mmm, that face, though. Not hers. Mian's. Rule number two of our society. For that reason, you're obligated to make all possible efforts. The way Satoko said it, sounded like she was saying, by any means necessary. Use any means necessary. Of course, I will do my best too. I'm pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. I knew what they were trying to say. In a game where everyone is aiming for the top, it's rather unsport unsportsmanlike to play just for fun. Never saw it that way. Alright then. Then, alright. Then I too will go all out. With that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. Alright, Punchy, let's do this. A word of warning, Punchy-chan. Mina can get pretty nasty. This initiation looks like it's going to be rough. I'm going to go through a hazing. Mian began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room. Oh, it began. They have the games here at the school? Well, it's club equipment, so I guess that's fine. Complicated games will put Punchy Chan at a disadvantage. So today we'll play a game that you should be familiar with. How about a standard card game? Like Old Bachelor. <laughs> old Bachelor. What was that? Is it something supposed to be so surprising? Alright, let's do this. I myself don't know what Old Bachelor is. Can't really get into unless there's a penalty. This time, the loser will be sentenced to having their face drawn on. What do you think? Whoa, whoa! We'll be oil based paint, right? Right? Oil based? Face painting with oil based paint? I don't know what that means. This is perfect! So it's all good she cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch it at the thought of such a severe penalty. Does that mean it's permanent? Like a permanent marker? Is that oil based? It seemed like she was raring to go. If it's going to be like this, then I can't lose either, not to Satoko. Then I'll just cut the deck and start dealing. Alright. Game time. Old Bachelor is pretty much the same as Old Maid. Thank you for explaining. I actually don't really know what Old Maid is either. <laughs> Sorry, Punchy. There's only one difference. There's no Joker. In its place, one card is pulled out at the start, meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end. Oh, that sounds familiar. If you don't know which card will end up being the Joker, or you don't know which card. It's a pretty thrilling game, I bet. We'll take the card now. We took out one card and left it face down on the table. Every stared at, everybody stared at the card intently. Well, it'll be pretty, ob pretty obvious in the end game. Nobody tell the start. But the rest of them were very serious. 
It didn't seem as relaxed as I was. Come on, Punchy. You gotta get into it. Get your head in the game. They compared their cards to the one face down, all the while gauging, gauging each other's reactions. It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. This deck is pretty worn out. No way. Can everybody tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? Remember the second rule for society. Punchy Chan must try his hardest to win as well. Number of cards are quite unique. Punchy Chan should be able to remember them quite pretty quickly. She said that so matter of factly. Factly. S suits me fine. Don't think a little thing like that can be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious I was at a disadvantage. Well, for Punchy. After all, They'd gone so far as to memorize the card, the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of old bachelor. If this was a test, and they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them. <laughs> oh god. So serious for this. Bring it! I have to be serious too. I'll take advantage of a carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless confidence would soon be crushed. Oh no! Kick, 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 kick. How about I tell you? Your hand starting from the right. Three, four, nine, jack, queen. What? By the way, the bachelor is the jack of diamonds. Gargle. I can I can tell what they are even if you switch them around. I am out. Urgh. I thought I was prepared for but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming. Oof. Demons, you're all demons. Rena isn't a demon, are you? No, Rena, don't do this to me. No. Oh, sorry, Punchy Kun. This is being hard, isn't it? I know. Ah! That sound cut. Not even a hint of mercy. Rena, even Rika Chan. Not Rika Chan. These club activities weren't to be trifled with. An alumnus, alumnus? Well, this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire class had self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into a deathmatch on a deserted island, what was that game? Uh, what was that movie? I love that movie. Ah, you guys probably know it. These guys would, uh, these guys would probably take it like fish to water. I can already picture their joy as they hunt down each one of their classmates. It's a, it's a lowest point system. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever's lowest point total wins. Since Punch, since Punchy can finish last, he has five points. There's already a five right on my scoreboard. Jeez, come on, ladies. Well, I think it's all right to Punchy Kun if we don't use a new deck. It's fine. It's fine. Punchy Kun is a man after. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna click on my, my uh, recording software. He can turn the tables even if the odds are stacked against him, right? I'm not sure if that's what being a man's about. <laughs> was fitting for a lonely peasant to scan for home and soak their pills and tears, don't you think? Whoa, calm the fuck down. It's like, God. A petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncomfortable, un uncontainable frustration. It was Rika Chance. Keep on fighting. Oh, fuck. Log. Keep on fighting. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Rika. Thanks, Rika's Chan's word of discouragement. I was able to calm down. You need to calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power I could muster during this crisis. By being a man? I don't know if I have that power. Myself. Think clearly, Punchy Maybara. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Brina said, each card has its own distinct markings that made them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do. <laughs> it's like such a we're in such a serious card game. When just last episode the photographer appeared and then shit dropped. Alright. Think about what you can do in the situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. Whoa! Great! Punchy-kun, just like that! 
I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands, or other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. The one with the VIP corner should be the five. And I'm out. I couldn't let Ava's precious hint slip by me. All information is a weapon. Then it was my turn. So Toka fanned out our, our cards for me. You see, I want the seven. Is it this one? I wonder about that. You won't know unless you take it. There was a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she doesn't want to take it. That kind of expression? I won't let that. <laughs> the fucking sounds. I won't let that mo momentary laugh slip by me. I know. It's this one. Got it. Seven of spades. <laughs> Seven of spades. I cheer. Ooh. Rang out. Fuck. What is this? The seven should be the hardest one of all to tell apart. It wasn't from memorizing the markings, but the slightest change in their expression as I was selecting cardboard enough. Can't hide it from me, Punchan. This mark means the two of diamonds. What? She was started by her own mystery. Of course, everyone else was too. Whoa! It's rather than me trying to get the card wrong. No, no, no. Punchan, could it be you? They told him part by different marks. That was a nail scratch. So I put a new one on it. <laughs> Are you saying he disguised it as the Tomb of Diamonds? What an impressive show of wit, I say. Punchy landed a clean head. Clap, clap, clap. Thanks, oh, thanks, Rina. That's great, Punchy Kun. That was an incredible match, you know. You know. Having to feed the forerunner me and with my brilliant, my brilliant battle left me ecstatic. But by total points, it was right sense told that me could win and I would finish last. I laughed hotly, selecting the tone of voice kept to get on Mean's nerves. Well, I'm going to end up the loser, but I'm satisfied with one upping Mean at the end. Ooh, star. <laughs> that should that should be the proverbial slap in the face of Mian, who was at the top already and ensured victory. Even if Punchon gets first place this round, just to end up last place overall. Don't you hate that? Of course I do. Let's have a duel. One chance. If you win, then we'll swap first and last place. How about it? You up for it? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without going here into it. Ooh! Go punchy tune punchy kun tan. What do you say? Let me hear the rules. Mian discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the jug card that was on the table, then shoveled the resulting hand behind her back. The card in my right or the card in my left? Ooh my face. Oh if punch punchy chan can guess which hand the Joker's in, then he wins. When you turn around just now, he didn't pull out the Joker, did you? If you lose, I'll show you the card in the other hand. Is that okay? The other three gulped nervously at the unexpected turn of events. Alright, you got it. I really don't see any problem with this because I was going to lose anyway, so I might as well do this, right? Me and grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I need to expect them closely. The card on the right had no distinction marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Which one I wonder, Punchy Kun? Be careful! Yeah, of course. This is my chance for a big comeback. Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It wasn't one I hadn't seen before. Oh, that card is. I didn't let that bit from Satoka slip by me. Me and Chuck click clucked, clicked her tongue. I didn't recognize the number of the left card from the small number that I had memorized. I didn't know what the left card was, but I could tell from, from Satoka's reaction that the card had already appeared during the game. Oh, punch on, oh no, this is a risky. It could be playing us. Since it already had appeared before, it meant that it definitely wasn't the Joker. Ooh, punch chan thinks it's the one, the one, right one, right? Will you choose that one in the end? Will you? The card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should should have been able to declare the card on the right was the Joker. Even without Mian's taunting, 
the one on the right was the most suspicious. But wasn't it a bit too rash to decide based loosely on Satoko's reaction? Oh, you're thinking too much. More carefully? Ah! I remember now! But Mark, the card is... No doubt about it! The Seven of Clubs! Hmm... It's the Seven of... Oh wait, hmm... It's the Seven of Clubs, I see. I've won! The card on the left was the Seven of Clubs! So the main card on the right was the Joker. And then, just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. <laughs> I would expect no less from you. There was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers on my silent hall right before I confirmed the record was the Joker. Hmm? Huh? What could Plenty Sound possibly be saying? I mean, the left one is. Shh. Nah. Don't do it! Ooh. What makes it certain that the right one isn't the Joker, Punchy Chan? Me and Let Loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. I don't know what the card on the right could be, but I know the one on the left is the Seven of Clubs. Then, doesn't that leave the right one as the Joker? One of them has to be the Joker, right? Yeah. One of those is the Joker, right? Punchy, Punchy has good intuition. Thanks, Rika. Huh? Could tell what do you mean by? So basically, the Seven of Clubs, I discarded, I discarded that by matching with Satoko's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be ascertained from that sloppy pile. So that means, me unpocketed one of the discarded cards that aligned it over the left card, and that means... I see, I get it. This left card is being disguised by the Seven of Clubs, right? This is so intense. God. It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across me in the expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, the clan flourished. I declared it loudly. Uh, uh, uh. The Joker is the left one! It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first one to speak was me. Being the first president's club, I've been witness to a variety of performances. Punchy Chan, yours is the best. The best of the best of the best. That's probably the greatest combat of me and ever could give. I don't like the spark on her face though. I don't like the spark on her face. Me and accepted defeat. Dropping the card, no. Dropping the cards with both her hands. No, it's too much. Like, comeback victor? I don't believe it. Rika Chan placed her hand on my head began petting and congratulating me on my victory. Huh? Rikuchan is? Oh, Rikuchan is. Rina and Satoka gaped at us as if they had seen a ghost. What is it, Rina? It's not as if I cheated or anything. It was fair and square. Rika only pets someone on the head to console them. Huh? What's the meaning of? Ugh, I know it! At that moment, Rina let out a small shriek. You know, Punch Chan. I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> Everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was a gamble. If you had just jumped to the conclusion like a little brat, then I would have lost. If the answer it was the answer everyone was certain about. Me and picked up the card from her losing hand. Punch Chan, you should take pride in this loss. No she turned it around. That was the card that became the victory victor of the stool. The card on the seven clubs. Unbelievable. It was the two of diamonds. It, it was a setup f behind the setup. Okay. I don't really know what to. I don't know what. what I didn't. It was two of diamonds the Joker, right? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I really don't. If I just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. I, me and, si me and Sonozaki, as club president, do accept Punchy, Punchy May buys membership into our club. As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave, despite my defeat. The match is oh, now over! Today's victor is me, Mian Sonozaki, and our exalted loser is Punchy Meibara. Everyone made commotion, applauding cheerfully. I felt I was bested, but I was sound so soundly beaten that I was unexpected to feel rather refreshing. Ah. So close, Punchy, so close. When me Chan pulled this little trick behind her back, I got excited, thinking she's going to do it again! 
When Plenty-san stopped at the mobile before touching the correct card, I thought he fell for it. He fell for it quite handily. Huh? Hey, wait. All the new from the start and still got to so excited and so earnestly? Ugh. Everyone got excited to make it more fun. You... You're all demons, you monsters! How to get... John on my face. Now then, Punchy, it's time for your penalty. Ugh. Since your first day participating, I'll go easy, okay? It will be a problem if you refuse to come to school. Don't draw a penis, please, man. The other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. Mina approached, licking her lips. Ooh, yeah. Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felted marker, and it's a large oil base. What does that mean if you draw, if you use oil based on your, like, on your self? Is okay. Here we go. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly up to my face while I was immobilized. <laughs> no, no! I let out my death throes. Throes? Alright guys, uh, from that, everything kind of chilled out there, um, I'm going to stop recording here, but in reality, I'm going to just start a new recording. Yeah, just to make it easier for me to um, edit. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, there's some bell ringing on. You guys see a little bit of... Okay, let's let it go. Okay, here you go. Alright, now I'll stop. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna try and do it like one every day, um, it may be possibly except for weekends because it seems that something always happens the weekend, so I'll always try to do weekends when I can. Um, and hopefully we get back to that. Um, I saw you, you, get, you guys were excited that um, I got to the, I just got to the uh, photographer and I'm excited too and I can't wait to see where this goes. So thanks for watching guys and have a good um, night, day, morning, whenever you're watching this. Just have a good one. Bye-bye. Ow.